you about writing prompts because I think they can be a really useful thing with um, in terms of art journaling. I think of them as more than just questions to answer. They are questions to answer, to give you something to write about, to give you something to art journal about, something to make pages about. Writing prompts can be one way to practice getting in touch with your subconscious. I find as an artist that my best inspiration comes not so much from my conscious thinking, but from images, from uh, interests, from impulses that kind of just float up from my subconscious. I think that's where we get into the really more personal, more interesting things than often our conscious thinking, often the, rather than the obvious answer. Um, so, the way that writing prompts can do this is, is it can be a practice of a way to get in touch with your subconscious. How it works is, you'll read the writing prompt and then you just start writing. Don't think about what is the right answer to this. Um, just start writing and basically don't stop. Uh, write whatever comes into your head. Write whatever comes into your mind. Just write it. I mean, it's like no one's no one's going to read this except you. Don't worry about punctuation. Don't worry about spelling. Don't worry about what your handwriting looks like. Even if you're writing directly into your art journal. <laughs> um, messy handwriting can be gorgeous in art journals. Um, just write. Just write and keep writing for a certain amount of time. That can be really helpful. So maybe you have an egg timer, maybe you have a, you know, some little timer you can put on for three minutes or five minutes. Uh, over, the, over time working with writing prompts, it's good if you can stretch the writing out even longer. What I do in my classes is I'll just tell my students to write and not stop writing until I tell them to stop. This often pushes them past their own limits. There'll be a point where they feel like, I've said it, you know, I don't have anything else to say now. If you keep writing then, it, it might not even be about the prompt, it might be about something else entirely. If you keep writing, what can happen is, is more will come out that you didn't expect. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get past we're trying to get past the conscious mind. We're trying to get past the answers that come uh, kind of the conventional answers, what you would always answer, what you might answer uh, to someone you don't know who asked you the question. Um, through this way of doing writing prompts you can often come up with the answer that you didn't expect. Um, sometimes it can even be maybe the answer, not really the answer you wanted to hear. But don't let that put you off because sometimes the answer you don't want to hear right now can be a fantastic answer later. So once again, what you're going to do is you're going to read the prompt and then you're going to start writing without knowing what you're going to write. Just write. Maybe you need to write quickly. Don't stop. Don't pick your pen up. Don't, you know, kind of think about it a bit. Just keep going. Even if you're writing rubbish, it doesn't matter. Keep writing for a certain amount of time and then let yourself stop. So I think the timer is a really good idea in that way. There's certain prompts that I've really enjoyed doing that that I'll I'll write, you know, I'll do once and then maybe I'll wait a year or something and do them again, and or less, and you, you can come up with really different answers at different times. So, and I like to think of that as uh, rather than coming up with the right answer, you're coming up with the answer for now. Okay, I'll leave you with that for the writing prompts. Have fun.